Hi, and this is Keith B1 again um, with another demonstration of the LG Optimus by Republic Wireless. Uh, what I wanted to show today, um, which is actually an important fact, uh, w when you're using your uh, LG Optimus phone um, and trying to use as much Wi-Fi as possible, is to have an application um, such as the one I have installed, which is called Wi-Fi Finder. Now, there are many out there. Just choose the one that that works best for you. This is works best for me. Um, uh, let me actually just show you how quick and easy it is. I actually, as you can see, I have, have it on my my center front page. So I'll just click on it here. Now it's going to pull it up, and you have two options. The first, as you can see um, to the left here, is is the little sonar, as you want to call it, that's actually telling me that within range for me to use it, there are six. As you can see, Wi-Fi scanner six. So if I click on it. Um, what it then does, it, it's, it's going to pop up everything that's in the basic immediate area for me that I can receive right now as we speak. And as you can see, anything that's in a red box um, requires a password or a pass key. Um, anything that's in green is, is free, available, open airframe, whether it's from a, a public place, be it a, a, a McDonald's, a Starbucks, or a Dunkin' Donuts, or uh, someone's home. Um, if it's green, it's free, and all you have to do is, is click on it um, to use it. Uh, the second part of this is the public Wi-Fi near me, as you can see right here on the right-hand side. If you click on that, uh, what it's going to now do is, is it's going to be a, a map view of everything that's within one square mile of me, um, which is basically half a mile left, uh, right, north, and south. Anything with a green balloon is open Wi-Fi, whether it's free from, once again, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, um, Chick-fil-A. And the blue are either A, paid uh, for Wi-Fi, or it, it could be from a local um, coffee shop or uh, lounge that actually requires their passcode or passkey. Um, and one thing you can do is you can just click on the balloon and what it's going to do is tell you exactly what it is. As you can see, this one's a McDonald's. Um, another way to look at it is if you click on the list, what's going to now do is actually give you a physical listing um, with the address and it's going to tell you to the, the right hand side over here, this is free and it's within 0.47 miles of me. Um, and that's actually a hospital. And then here's a restaurant which is free, it's within 0.87 miles of me. So whenever you're out and about, whether it's shopping um, or going out to eat or drinks uh, with the family, and you have access easily to uh, the, the Wi-Fi to keep your phone always running. Um, and as you can see, you can scroll right down, up and down, and it's going to give you um, everything that, that's available. Uh, as you can see, the money here, um, when, when it has the dollar signs, it, it, it's, that's basically letting you know that either it'll cost you per usage or you have to get the, the passcode. Um, there are, if you up, hit up here in options, you can actually now choose how you want, want to filter it. If I hit filter and I say, okay, show me only the free. Now, nothing that, that's either um, paper use or uh, requires a passcode is here. Anything that's on this list now um, is basically um, open Wi-Fi. So once you're within range of it, um, they're free to use. And as you can see, there's, there's quite a few within one square mile of me, which makes it very, very convenient. Everything, you know, from McDonald's to a mall, um, uh, a restaurant, um, public library. Um, they actually basically tell you, here's the phone number, providers independent, um, the address, and this Wi-Fi hotspot offers free Wi-Fi. So it, it actually makes it very, very convenient. Um, especially when you're in the out and abouts. I like the whole map feature, so I'll know, okay, listen, I'm, I'm going to be downtown Providence, uh, either shopping or, or walking around hitting um, various businesses, and as you can see, there's quite a few um, within the, this basically four block radius that's all um, free. So once I'm there, uh, I'll be able to pick on which ones I want to use, whichever ones I'm closest to, obviously. Um, Let's get out of that one. One of the next things I, I wanted to hit on um, is the whole uh, settings and uh, applications that we have to use 
if you actually get into settings and you pull up applications, what it's going to do is you can actually now run manage running services or manage your applications and uh, incomplete. Let's say there's applications that I may have downloaded that I decide, eh, I don't really use so much. Um, and actually one's here, this audio recorder. Um, you can now go to uninstall. If it was running, uh, you can force a stop, but um, if it's not, you can just hit uninstall. And it's going to say this application will be uninstalled. Yes, uninstall the application. Okay. If I click on yes, uninstalling, uninstall finished. And away we go. Um, once again, um, I'm hoping that uh, this uh, information helps not only um, uh, uh, members who have yet to receive their phone, but also um, members who currently have their phone who just aren't sure um, which, you know, which applications are best for them. And this basically just serves as a suggest suggestion. And as I said once, you know, in the past, I've done a little legwork, a little um, testing of my own to see what works best. Um, and these are just some of the ideas that actually work best for me. Um, thank you and have a good day.